Ladies, gentlemen, and others, it's finally happening. Capcom has listened to our prayers and is finally releasing a Monster Hunter on a current generation console. Now, I know technically there was a release on the Wii U, but let's face it, the Wii U was a giant dumpster fire and really doesn't count when it comes to the releasing of a Monster Hunter to a wider audience, especially here in the West. Now, why am I so excited about this? Well, Monster Hunter has been a series that, while it started its life on the PS2 and possibly the PS1, I'm not quite clear on the timeline, it is a series that I've wanted to get into for a while now. I tried on the PSP and couldn't get into it because, well, the game is just impenetrable, it explains none of its systems, and thus you have to seek out outside sources in order to learn how to play. And while from all intents and purposes of what I've heard, Monster Hunter Generations and Monster Hunter 4 had pretty good tutorials, the fact of the matter was that they were on the 3DS, which I think I've made my opinion clear on this channel so far. But if you haven't watched my earlier videos, and please don't watch them, they're absolute garbage, let's say I just, I don't like the Nintendo 3DS, I don't, I hate it. I despise it, especially now that the Nintendo Switch is out. I'm not sure why they haven't just, you know, thrown that into the garbage and just put everything on the Nintendo Switch, but I'll leave that rant for never, okay? I'll just leave that rant just in the garbage along with my 3DS. But anyways, this is the... Monster Hunter World is a sort of departure from the series. First of all, it's, you know, full high definition on a screen and it is using a controller which has all of the buttons and feels good in my hands unlike the Nintendo 3DS which I never liked the control scheme on that and this is from a guy who played the entirety of Kid Icarus Uprising on a 3DS so I I have you know I have withstood some odd control schemes if a game is good enough but yeah, Monster Hunter World is just, it just shows this departure, and also from the trailers, it shows that there's going to be an actual story, which I am all for. I am a very, I love single player campaigns, especially good ones. Hell, I love bad ones if they're bad enough that, like, they're good, or if they're just plain uncaring or shameless see you know anything david cage puts out for so bad it's good and just so intentionally so bad intentionally shameless see the senron kagura series the series of games that i hold near and dear to my heart but anyways this shows a shift from you know just the fact that there's a some sort of story going on just excites me because in a lot of games while if the gameplay is good enough i will be able to power through it if a story has a phenomenal game then i'm willing to put up with some absolute garbage gameplay in order to experience that and even if it's not a bad it, even if it's not a good series i should good oh god Ugh. even if it's not a good story the fact of the matter is that this has a story at all is just surprising me and it seems like this is uh, this Capcom seems to be taking a lot of risks recently, which I find uh, fascinating, especially, well, I say risks, but as I did some research when they announced it, wondering why Capcom decided now of all times to release a console, you know, Monster Hunter, it turns out there's a kind of a uh, little story, hilarious story, that basically PlayStation reached out to them and said, hey, we will pay you and help you for the development of this thing. Just don't, don't release it on Switch. Like, PlayStation is terrified of the Switch, and Capcom accepted that. And then Nintendo was like, oh, okay, you want to be that way? Fine, then. We're not giving you the development kit for Nintendo Switch. And that's why Monster Hunter XX came out a few months after the Switch came out, instead of being, like, a release title. Because if you've been following Monster Hunter, you know, ever since it jumped to the 3DS, Monster Hunter and Nintendo have been pretty buddy-buddy. But yeah, that's just a funny little story. But yeah, Monster Hunter World is coming to consoles, and PS4 in particular is what I'm probably going to be playing it on. And I recently downloaded and played the beta. Now, this took me about an hour, uh, 20 or so minutes of which was me faffing about with a training area where you can, like, just fight stuff, 
you know, just, like, test out the weapons and see how they work. And I just want to say, um, it's good. It's fine. It's Monster Hunter. Like, one of the, you know, there's, hmm, there's sort of in the training area kind of tells you how to do a few combos. It kind of explains how you do a few things. But it, it's not real. It's not a real, you know, tutorial. There isn't, like, explanations about, like, this bar is, like, um, it doesn't explain that how you have to sharpen your blades after a certain amount of swings. It doesn't tell you about, like, um, how to trap monsters, how to tag them, though it seems in this game they streamlined a few things. Like, in previous games, you had to, like, search out the monster, and then you would throw, like, a paintball or something, which would, like, tag the monster, and it would show up on your map for, like, a limited amount of time. But in this case, it's, like, you have this, like, sort of, like, n fly, like, these... I, I don't... I forget what the game calls them, but they're, like, these almost knobby-looking things. They just, like, this glowing fairy stuff, and it just, like, points out, like, oh, hey, here's a collectible, or, oh, hey, here's some tracks. And if you, like, interact with the tracks, then it's like, oh, they got the scent of the monster, let's follow it. So they streamline the finding the monster part of it. And for combat, I want to say, hmm. So yeah, there's a bit of streamlining, and they don't explain some things like, uh, during the loading times when you're matchmaking or when you're loading into a level, there's a few tips that help out. Like, it explains some of the items, like this item you can put down, and it'll release some mist that... If you stick by it, it'll heal your health for the first time. Or this healing item, you know, um, restores your health and the health of everyone around you. And, like, stuff like that. But, like, it doesn't really explain it in a satisfactory way. At least I feel like it. Or I miss something. I miss some sort of tutorial section. But since the only options in the game are training area, multiplayer, and single player, I doubt that. So, as for the combat itself, Monster Hunter has combat a lot like Dark Souls, I would say. Or, it would probably be more accurate to say Dark Souls has combat for Monster, like Monster Hunter, but, you know, Dark Souls is the more popular series, so you're probably going to be more familiar with that. But at the end of the day, yeah, the series is basically, you know, you have a light attack, you have a heavy attack, you have a dodge roll, and you also, on some weapons, have some sort of special technique, like, almost like a blade art or transformation. Like, the switch axe is straight up a trick weapon, where you can switch between a heavy-hitting, high-damage axe into a sword that has longer reach, and stuff like that. And also, a lot of them have sort of effects when you hit the right trigger, like, um... Let's say the katana, or like the um, long sword. I believe it's yeah, that's what the class is called. If you hold our trick, if you hold the right trigger and you use an attack, you get a special sort of area of effect type attack that does additional damage. If you're wielding the twin swords, then you get into demon mode, which allows you to just attack in an almost endless combo. And if I'm not mistaken, poise through enemy attacks. And just stuff like that. Every single weapon has some sort of effect when you hold right trigger. With the exception of the guns, which act as like third person guns. Which I didn't really interact much with because I'm already pretty bad at shooters when I'm using a keyboard and mouse. And using a controller, yeah, that's not going to happen. That's not going to end well. But yeah, Monster Hunter World Beta is just, it's just a little vertical slice of Monster Hunter, and it's a Monster Hunter game, and I had some pretty good fun with it. There are three missions, each of which goes up a bit of difficulty, like the first two I finished a bit, they weren't very difficult, but the third one, well, two of my party members died, which was a fun time, but yeah, all in all, Monster Hunter World Beta is just... I implore you to check it out if you've ever been interested in the Monster Hunter franchise. I feel, I don't know if it's because it's on a console or they streamline some things with the whole tracking down the monster thing. But it just feels like a more streamlined and more efficient version of what I played on handheld portables. And it's just, it was a good f bit of fun. I had a very fun, ha a very fun hour with it. So yeah, if you've ever been interested in the Monster Hunter franchise or you are a fan of Dark Souls combat, 
then I totally recommend you check this thing out when it releases. If you are a member of the PlayStation Network, I believe you can actually go out and play this as we speak. This has a little bit of a beta weekend running from the 9th to the 12th, so you have like the day this video releases and the day afterwards of 2017, so yeah. But yeah, that's just been a little first impressions, quick little look at the um, Monster Hunter World beta. Just my thoughts and opinions over this upcoming release in about a month and a half or so? Yeah, actually, yeah, that's about like perfect. That's about a month and over 15 days, like a month and a half. So yeah. Also, if you are um, a bit interested in seeing more of it, you can actually check out my um, Juan, Moore Le Juan Moore Let's Play channel, uh, link in the description, which I am put up a wonderful Juan off, yes, I'm going to run that pun with my first name into the ground, of me playing the game, just that little vertical slice. It's actually um, closer to 15 minutes than an hour because the time I spent in the training area, I somehow managed to turn off my recording mic. So yeah, that would have just been, you know, gameplay footage and like, you know, Let's Play channel is like person talking over game and talking about what they're feeling about it or some shit like that. So yeah. If you're interested in Monster Hunter, you know, check out the beta and check out my little 40 minutes with the game. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's all I have for today. If you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, there's a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Check out the links in the description to my, especially to my Patreon if you want to support this channel because I don't like video ads and I probably wouldn't even get any ads on these videos. But yeah, check all that out. This has been Juan John John and I shall see you next time. Goodbye.